Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to talk about the custom time attributes. What are the custom time attributes and how we can create the custom time attribute? So let's start today's session. So within time and labor, we have custom time attribute. There are two types, independent and the dependent. So independent time attribute can be used to capture additional information on the worker time card to meet company specific requirement. They are defined in the workforce management data dictionary and is stored in the repository. So you may want to capture something on the time card that is not coming from uh, one of the delivered attribute type for absence, payroll or project. Something just used on an OTBI or BI publisher report for the time and labor. Or maybe you have a special processing for part of your workforce and need to specify rules for the calculation, right? And dependent time attribute are tied to another time attribute and are used to define dependent time card field. So an example, let's say you want to capture the type of break that people take. The break itself is a payroll time type and the type of break is the dependent attribute that further specify what kind of break, right? So the time attribute that you define are added to the data dictionary when they are saved. Also, a custom time attribute does not show up as a value in payroll because there are there is no place to store it on the calculation card in payroll. Its purpose is for reporting purpose or as a criteria you want to use in a rule. Like a certain type of break could trigger a call to convert to a payroll time type. Okay. And now we get into creating the time card attribute. But before you create your custom time attribute, you need at least one value set for each independent and dependent time attribute. Custom time attribute are optional. So when you start in the setup and maintenance area, switch to all tasks when you get the time and labor task pane. Okay. And then select the custom time attribute. So now you will see a page that look like this, but all of the input fields will be open. It's here you choose whether this is independent or dependent. Then also attribute category, the type of data it is, the unit of measure, the hours or unit. And then down in the region, we are uh, prom uh, prompted for the data source, right? Which is a value set and the type of data that you choose has to match the data type of these data source. Okay, so let's just move to the system and create the custom attribute. Okay, so you have to log in as an implementation user. Then we have to go to the setup and maintenance. First, we have to go to the setting and actions. And then after that, we have to go to the setup and maintenance. Okay, so in the setup field, select the workforce deployment. And in the functional area list, select the time and labor. Okay, then in the show details, select the all, all task here. And in the task list, find the custom time attribute. Uh, here it is. Just open it.
Okay, so on the custom time attribute page, click on the create icon. Okay, let's fill the details for the custom time attribute. First, we have to fill the display name. For example, let's say fusion meal taken. Okay, then in the description, let's say yes or no. used in meal allowance calculations And then in the classification, we have to select the without dependent attributes. I have already explained you about the dependent and uh, independent attribute. In the data type, we are going to select the text and the unit of measure is hours. And in the default filter data source for time entry, we are going to select HRC yes or no. Okay, so it says specify the default list of valid filtered values such as the list of payroll time types for users which filter by primary assignment and start time let's search for the value here That's fine. HRC, yes. Application is a bit slow. Okay, here it is. Select this and click OK.
Okay, so for the default unfiltered data source for the setup task, again, we are going to select the HRC, yes and no. So it says specify the default list of all valid time attribute values used by the administrator to configure time card fields, web clock buttons and time categories. Okay, let's select this and click OK. And at last, we have to select the attribute category. Okay, let's select the custom. Okay, so you can see the value location is automatically populated here, right? The value set. So let's just click on the save and close. Okay, let's search. or the custom time attribute we just created. Okay, so here it is, the fuse and meal taken. Right, so that's how we can create the custom time attribute. I hope this topic is clear to you. So thank you so much for watching the video.